New at 6, the push to keep FEMA's COVID testing site open in Hidalgo County. Hidalgo County formally making that request today. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. And I'm Oscar Odame. And that request comes as Hidalgo County reports a massive backlog in the reporting of new infections. The backlog cases are from last month. 23,000 of those reported today. And we're told expect to see more big numbers like this. Channel 5's Monica De Anda joins us live from the FEMA testing site in Edinburgh. Monica, you were told the turnout there, a contributing factor in the backlog of cases. Oscar Dina, it is. Demand is starting to slow. We know at this FEMA test site they had the capacity to test a thousand people a day, but at this time we're being told they never once reached that mark since they opened up on January 18. We know it was a few weeks before then when we started seeing those long lines of cars, people waiting for hours to get tested for COVID. And health officials say it was those large lines and all that demand that caused this backlog that we're now seeing. You're going to start seeing uh, large batches of positive tests from COVID, but those have been uh, the, the batches or the tests that have been done over the last several weeks, uh, but not only by us, but by local vendors. A backlog of 23,000 positive COVID cases reported today by Hidalgo County for the month of January. Olivares says several factors, including the demand for testing around the holidays, the spread of Omicron, and the submission of data all played a role especially with more than 120 local testing vendors submitting their data to the state. And by the time you process that and then those cases come back to us, we have to review them, process them and look to see if there's any duplicates, any errors, etc. So we're always reviewing all the data. So it's very timely, it's very difficult to review all that. But Olivares says there is a big difference with how this Omicron wave is playing out compared to Delta. But the number of positive COVIDs is extremely high but the ratio to hospitalization is less. Olivares says that's greatly attributed to vaccines and natural immunity, but warns the community is still feeling the impact. Right now, just over 400 people are hospitalized with COVID, taking up 38% of all staffed hospital beds. And tonight, Channel 5 News has learned the county is hoping to keep this FEMA site open a little longer, even though only about 200 people are being tested here daily. We're told that the county is asking for a two week extension for this site to remain open an additional 14 days. But right now it is set to close on Friday. We'll keep you posted if that extension is granted. Live in Edinburgh, Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.